As long as the air conditioner is properly charged with Freon, summer driving is tolerable. However, leaks happen, which stops your aircon from functioning properly. Understanding when to add refrigerant reduces discomfort and costs. Watch the video to find out when your car's air conditioning system needs to be recharged, how often it usually needs to be done and how much it will cost. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. Lack of cooling. A car's AC system's relative lack of cooling efficiency is one of the most noticeable indicators of low Freon. A system cannot operate dependably without sufficient refrigerant, and it will not significantly reduce the intense heat of summer. Additionally, an air conditioner system's compressor clutch will probably be turned off via the pressure switch if the system's refrigerant level is low enough. Oily stains on aircon components. If severe enough, an AC system leak will often leave traces of compressor oil on the face of any component or line within close proximity to its source. These trace markers are some of the same ones that technicians use to find leaks of different sizes, some of which need to be located with a black light. The appearance of bubbles in the sight glass. There were sight glasses on various parts of the high pressure sides of several older car air conditioning systems. The refrigerant level inside the system itself was determined using these sight glasses. The presence of bubbles in this sight glass suggested that there was not enough refrigerant in the system. Inoperability of AC clutch. As previously stated, a substantial deficiency of refrigerant in a car's air conditioning system can result in decreased system pressure which can then cause compressor clutch lockout through the independent pressure switches in the system. A driver will not be able to hear a vehicle's compressor clutch cycling as they would normally if this condition is present. How often does a car AC need to be recharged? The degree to which a car's air conditioning system can function without needing to be recharged depends entirely on how tightly the system is sealed. All of the seals in a car's air conditioning system are relatively pliable and undamaged when they are brand new. Because of this, many cars won't need their AC system to be recharged during the first four to five years of ownership. But as time passes, the AC system seals start to deteriorate, dry out, and weaken, allowing some leakage. The more frequently a car's air conditioning system needs to be charged, the more severe the leak. In fact, older cars frequently need to have their air conditioning systems recharged every one to two years. How much does an AC recharge cost? The make of the car that needs to be serviced, the kind of refrigerant that will be used and the kind of shop that will perform the service are some of the variables that can affect the precise cost of recharging a car's air conditioning system. Consumers can use this price range as a guide though as it is associated with services of this kind with the exception of some specialized applications. The average cost to recharge a car's air conditioning system to full capacity using the right kind of refrigerant is between $150 and $300. Services performed at large chain-style service centers using standard R134A refrigerant are largely at the lower end of this price range, whereas taking one's car to the dealer is likely to result in higher expenses. Hope the information was helpful and you will press the like button and subscribe to the channel.